Hello all, Monoman25 back with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 6 slash 3. Last time we went into we went to Figaro Castle to seek salvage and we met Gnome Shark. Only for Kefka to find us and burn and attempt to burn the castle down to the ground before it was submerged. This time we are going through the we are going through the cave to see, to seek some help in South Figaro. Now, before we begin, we're going to find something a little different. Maya has a lot more life because off screen, I leveled them up like crazy. So, Gnome Shark's on level 9 with 195 with 195 life max. Karma Jolt is at level 8 with 168 hit point max. And Maya Kanai is um, is on level eight with 160 hit point max and a 53 point and a 53 point magic point max. So we so don't worry about the 17. That's gonna that's gonna rise in a few short minutes. Now let's continue, shall we? I'll go in and hold her. King Gnome Shark, where are you headed? Through the cave and southward and eastward to South Figaro. Return to the castle until the others are safe. Yes, sir. Take care. So he's gonna drop on his chocobo and head back to Figaro. And in the cave we go and oh We're not about to we're about to go fight. These guys are a little bit tougher, so <coughs> you use Gnome Shark's tools. And you should be able to dispatch him a little bit quicker. But if you want to elongate the battle, ooh, Karma Joel gained another level, 304 gil. Recovery Spring. Do it twice to make sure you got it. And as I was saying. Maya has all 53. Maya has her hit points back. Karma Jolt got the 194 max that that he just got by leveling, and of course, and yeah, and then you got 160, and then yeah, because I leveled them up like, as remember I had just leveled them up, so now I am going to, I'm actually gonna go up in here and get and get the stuff. And plus more fights, which will level them up a little bit more. As I was talking about more fights, I'm gonna try stealing from them, and I'm actually going to use the auto crossbow to make this quick and effective. Ooh, got another tonic. And no need for Maya to use fire because. Got the 85 experience points and 368 gil. Yeah, when I was in there, I was raking it. In. I, I was raking it in. So I have a lot more gil than I than I had at the uh, when I actually bought the stuff for Gnome Shark. And if I can, I'm gonna. So yeah, I've also fixed my off screen. I also fixed my controller. So. I can now, so I can now like uh, choose everything. So if I'm Maya, can I can now target everybody with fire, and the auto crossbow automatically everybody gets targeted. So 280 more gil, nice. You just go, you, know, you gotta go the long way. You just can't go under. The tools. I'm gonna try Bio Blaster, see what it does. <clears throat> Just in case I've got my on on deck ready to kill him. And this should do him in. 59 points, another tonic, and 280 more gil. Awesome. So I'm gonna go all the way over here, get the chest here. <clears throat> another tincture. And teachers revive MP, but I'm not going to effectively use them until later on. I'm 
because if you do, because if you're doing it, you should have like no reason to use them. And I'm all over the place. Burn them to death. You get more experience and more gold. Now, if the fight was unbearable, I actually used to run. Now I don't run anymore. I like fight, and I I basically fight and just get the MP. I just and get and just get the MP because it makes the battles and later on in the game so much easier. I'm actually gonna fight and save Maya's MP here. I don't need to heal anyone just yet. Probably won't because Gnome Shark will kill them and stab them into a bloody bloody death. Oh yeah, bring it on. More fights the better. Ooh, three crawlies this time. Yes, this is what I wanted. I wanted Gnome Shark to go. And I want Maya and Karma just to fight. So that can happen. See, it's taking me... Oh, and a Phoenix down. It's actually taking me a lot longer to level. Now that I actually leveled them off screen. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want items yet. They're not in that much trouble. Again, Gnome Shark. And Gnome Shark aimed to level awesome. So, how much is his hit points now? 222. Sweetness. Ugh. Sometimes these fights... The amount of fights you get into is just annoying. Just, and they're just dumping on on Karma Jolt here, and Gnome Shark is gonna kill him again. 360 gold pieces. Get on in here. Over there, and then I'm on the bottom, and out of the cave I go, and I am in the area of South Figaro, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to save the game. But I'm not going to end here because I've only been recording for 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So, ooh, and oh, oh, jeez. I'm pulling out the, the heavy artillery here. Steal from him. We use Noise Blaster. And this noise blaster confuses him. He's going to use that on himself. Of course. Of course it does nothing but heal him. Of course you heal him and go auto crossbow. There's Maya heal him. Well, no need. Awesome. Maya, can I gain another level? See how many hit points she has now. 186. Awesome. And here's the town of South Figaro. Again, save. Seems that Maya gained a level. And head on in. And who? Who's this? Who is this? Going into the cafe. Let's just follow him and go into the cafe. Ooh, cool music. Duncan students have no peers. Who's this Duncan guy? The guy at the Kiner. He's kind of creepy. The Empire's invading one town after the next. We're not safe here. Duncan and his son Vargas made a, st made a strict martial law. Vargas resented it. Here we go. Hmm. At least you can give me a response. Stand back. He seems vaguely familiar. Wait a minute. He owes allegiance to no one. He will do anything for money and he comes and goes like the wind. Now, in game terms, this is Shadow. But in LP terms... Ooh, this is the only one that I basically had a tough time with because I they 
I'm probably going to spend a lot of time doing, like, coming up with this, but, uh, Shadow, 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 mm. Should I go Sakimoto fanboy here? Should I go, just, just no. Fresno is no Shadow, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to go Saki. Yeah, <laughs> Well, this LP, well, this LP here is an LP legend. If you actually like, if you actually like the the, uh, if you actually want to do Solstice, or if you, or if you like the uh, the, the LPs of the Adventures of Lolo. Yes, I am naming Shadow after LP legend, after retired LP legend Saki, Mo and one of the people that actually helped me get into LPing two years ago, Sakimoto fanboy. Shit, can I fit Moto in here? Nope. I'm just gonna do Saki for now. That's Saki! He'd split his mama's throat for a nickel! Better steer clear of him, I guess. And, yeah, I forgot to, I actually forgot to say that, uh, yeah, if you actually want to check Sakimoto Fanboy out and what he's done and everything before his actual retirement, I will post his link underneath where, where the other links are. So, let's talk to Saki. Saki, leave us! The dog eats strangers. Let's, let's go down here and see what's down here. Out of the way! I gotta get the sight of the old man. That's my job. Now scram! Oh, you're gonna have to remember that for later. So, you need to go back up and then you have an old man. You have a merchant that's basically in the business to, uh, so you got nothing in the cafe here, so let's go into the inn. How much is the inn? 80 per night. Okay. Sold. I'll rest for 80 gold. And after I basically remembered something, but I'm not going to, but yeah, that'd be spoiler alert. I'm not going to say nothing. So you go in there. So you come out of the. I'm coming out of the end, well rested. Just go down here. Go down here. And let's talk to this merchant here. Equip relics to gain a variety of abilities. These double my walking speed. Of course he crashes into the. And now we have another tutorial. Relics give your party give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, Sprint Juice double your speed, true knight lets you lets you shield other during battle. Dragoon boots and add the jump command to your battle list. Wallet allows you to hold two hold the sword in both hands. Use the main menu to to equip two relics per person. And you basically learned that back in Narsh with Scholar, so now we actually get to buy relics. And of course, I want to double my speed. And yes, I'm going to buy a couple of goggles. Protecting it, protect myself against dark. One star poison to protect against. Protect against dark and petrify. Protects. Okay, we'll. Past there, so dispensaries and the star pin to give that to Maya. Protect against dark, and actually, gnome shark. Well, gnome shark's getting screwed here, so. We'll give a pair of gargle a big pair of goggles to him. <clears throat> well, we're not gonna have to worry about petrify now, so I'm going to equip goggles on the gnome shark. So yes, 
I can I've now doubled my speed and I can get around town better. Welcome to South Figaro. Yeah, thank you for telling us where we already are. Something we already know. Did you hear Figaro's chest was sank into the ground? You couldn't find it if you knew where to look. Let's go to the sparrow here. I think there's something in here. Found a tonic. Not arsenal. I have a dark equipped, a mithril knife, a mithril blade, a regal cutlass, and we already have the noise in the bio blaster, so. So the regal cutlass is 800 gil. Mithril knife. Now, if we already have a mithril knife, knife equipped, we don't have a mithril cut. And one. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a regal cutlass and equip that to my Akanai and spend most of my money on armor. So, get a hairband. Usually no. Get a cotton robe, a kung fu suit, and a plumed hat. And go back to optimum here. Equip. Yeah, I think the plumed hat was better. So I'm gonna buy one more plumed hat for a lock. For a, I mean lock for a karma jump, so, so, let's go item, no, not item, go to equip, karma jolt, and get a plume hat for him, so I don't have to keep pressing the B button now, I'm just checking this time out, Mount Cold is to the east, let's go to the, Item shop. Let's add up to 15. Add up to 15. And five softs. Ten eye drops. Echo screen. No, we don't need anything that protects against mute just yet. Two of those. Four sleeping bags. So we're basically just shopping here. We're shopping here. So I think if I go into this house right here, because I know this town will go down fighting, even with Magitek arm armor, we'll make it tough on them. So, Duncan's house. My husband Duncan is a world famous martial artist. He take he he's taking his disciples to Mount Colton for meditation and training. Well, thank you for telling us where we need to go. There's nothing around the coffee pot. Save point. So if you wanted to save in town, you could. But I'm gonna go up to thirty. But I'm gonna actually be bold and go up to thirty minutes here. So. What I'm going to do is this. I'm actually going to leave, but I'm not going to go to the... It's the rich man's house. No, we're going to come back in here later. And we're actually about to leave town here. And pray tell we get into a fight here. And... Hmm, what's that smell? Just for now, we'll put Gnome Shark at the head. Flowers, his favorite. And this is his favorite tea. Get the tonic. Shelf. 
these dishes. These were his favorite. Now this is why I shouldn't have end. I shouldn't have paid the money for the inn. Because if you sleep in the bed, you get healed, and Gnome Shark's coming back. Liam Six, he was he, he was here, and you eat, and then you leave out, and then you get some. What the? You know this guy? Man, of course. He left a couple of days after he heard his master Duncan was slain. He headed into the mountains. I heard Duncan's, Duncan's son Vargas was missing as well. I have a bad feeling about this. So apparently... We're probably going to get Liam six, so... Let's go do the... So, yeah. I could stop right here. So, but... Ah! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. So, let's go kick his ass. So, like, the do we have to thing. Nice. 82 through 100, 106, 186 gold. Now let's save. This, this should take me all but 10 minutes to do. If I go over 30, I apologize now. Because I know exactly what to do here. Ooh, and a shadow. I'm gonna fight like the Dickens here because I can. Because this is before the save point. No, not Bio Blaster! Scorch Amaya! Only one?! Come on! Of course, the Tusker doesn't die. Well, now the Tusker dies. 136. Oh, Karma Joel gained another level. It's gonna get very annoying with this. It's like, so Karma Joel has 221 hit points now. Ah! Oh. Ooh, we trapped him. Ooh, we trapped him in. Nice. I should have stolen from one of them, or he wouldn't have gotten a chance to. Go down here. This the treasure chest is right here. Receive guardian. I sort of forgot what that does. Let's see what that does. Guardian. Random evade. Randomly evades an, an enemy's attack. Okay. Let's see who it. If I equip it, it might be for Karma Jolt. Nice. So, I basically just made Karma Jolt a lot stronger. I gotta watch my fire. And they're dead. I'm just gonna go up and through here. Follow the figure here. But I'm actually going to go in here. I usually never go in here. But I actually want to get all the treasure chests. So I can do more battles. And level up before... What is actually going to be the... Which is actually going to be... The Bio Blaster! I didn't mean to do Bio Blaster! That heals him! Now Maya is going to have to char him. Go ahead, Colleen Charm. That would be Maya Kanai's real name. If you didn't actually... If you really didn't actually know. And we get another treasure chest. The tent this time! Awesome! So I can save the two tents that I actually bought. Nice. 
Oh, I love these things. You don't want to cast Bio on these things, because these things, heat, poison, will heal them. Of course, the boys have to kill him. We got more gill. And I have a strange feeling that I'm actually going to make back all the gill that I... I'm going to make back all the gill that I spent shopping. I'm actually going to use the steal command and see what I can steal from, uh... Okay, nothing. You got nothing. Oh, come on! Leave Maya Kanai alone! Fight. Next turn. Next turn, if I actually get that far, I am going to heal Maya Kanai. She is not going to die. Oh, jeez. Yes! Yes, heal yourself now! Have a crossbow. Don't even worry about stealing. At least you got some of it back. Actually, I'm gonna heal us both. Actually, Gnome Shark isn't gonna get healed. No, not Bio. I think everything on this mountain is 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 actually. I think everything on this mountain is actually immune to poison. And to the other side, the shadow goes. We get in another fight. Here. Nice. Six. Go in here. Save point. Nice. So what I'm going to do is use a tent, heal everybody, and the tents vary into who's leading your party. So. You'll get a different you'll get a different color tint depending on who is leading your party. Like like for Maya Kanai slash Terra, your your tent was pink with a bow on it. So, and I'm not going to use I'm probably like every time I use a tent, I'm going to put everybody I'm going to put that uh, certain character in the lead, just so you can see the tent, just so you can see the color of the tent. So. I think I'm actually going to do something smart and end it here. So this, so next time I'm actually going to continue on, continue trekking on Mount Colts and probably run into Liam Six. So until next time, this is Mana Man Twenty Five saying so long. See you later.